And we're back. So, uh, in the last episode, uh, we were able to uh, conquer Bulgaria. And we attacked Serbia and defeated um, their garrison forces uh, that were near uh, Ras, their capital. Uh, however, there are a lot of Serbian armies running around. Uh, and uh, they control Ragusa. And I don't have enough forces in the north uh, to take them out. So uh, the plan here is to uh, defeat the Latin Empire finally at Mistra and then move these forces up uh, to Ras to join my other troops with the Emperor. And then uh, perhaps I'll have enough force uh, to defeat these Serbian armies one by one before uh, taking Ragusa from them. So for now, uh, my army here is good enough to defend Ras, but it's not good enough to take out all of these Serbian armies at the same time. So I'm going to play this a little defensively. And I still don't have enough money, or I, I still have a deficit, so I can't uh, train any troops. Um, but we're doing pretty well. Uh, we are defending our eastern territories well enough. Seems like there are there is a Seljuk army, but I can move a couple of generals in to fight them if need be. Actually, what I'm going to do is move a couple of generals right now. Perhaps with some... No, just a couple of generals. I'll move them into the fort here. And perhaps uh, they can reinforce Smyrna if need be. So for now, let's um, end the turn here. Okay, so Bride presented. Uh, that's okay. German princess comes of age. Sicilian princess comes of age. The Mongols invade. The Kipchak continent has been conquered and absorbed into the Golden Horde. In the Middle East, the Khwarezm El Khanate has been founded on the ruins of the Khwarezm Shah and the Sultanate of Hamadan. Uh oh. Well, we might have a bit of a problem. But who knows? Okay, so we're doing pretty well. And another turn. Seems like the Serbians have lost some troops fighting to the Hungarians. And because I see the Hungarian stack that was at Sirmia is now no longer there, and most of the Serbian forces have gone. Yeah, there they are. There's the main Serbian army. Pelicanos. Okay, fine. We need more family members. And the Latins. They don't have too much time. May we meet on the battlefield, you and I. Okay, so the Serbians, they have a bunch of medium cavalry, light cavalry, levy-type units. I will see your head rest atop a pike, outlander scum! But yeah, there's two... There's a little too many of them. If this main army, if this other army of theirs goes north to fight the Hungarians, then... I'll move my army with the Emperor without the support of... Uh, or sorry, the Emperor is down here in Mistra. I'll move my army from Ras to Ragusa, even without the support of the Emperor, uh, if, if the Serbians move that other army. And additionally, our profits are going way, way up, which is very nice. And hopefully once we take Mistra, 
that's going to really propel our economy much higher. So let's hope. It might be prudent soon. I know we're allied to the Venetians. But it might be prudent to owe. This is not good, Lord. The enemy have laid siege upon hmm. us. Okay, okay. So they're attacking Dyrrachium. Oh, the Kingdom of Jerusalem has declared war on the Kingdom of Armenia. So they're the aggressors, so I'm going to decline my alliance with them. And, uh, okay, I think m my army up north here, what I should do is... Um, Okay, I'll take the faction heir and uh, these pikemen and archers. And I'll move south to this Serbian fort. And I'll take it. And then I'll move against the Serbians now. Okay. So hopefully I can win this. The enemy general does have quite high command. So that'll that's something I should probably worry about. All right, let's start deployment. Looking good again. One of the nicer looking units in uh, Chivalry 2, the Sicilian Vespers. And of course, the other Byzantine units don't look worse for wear either, but you know, mods like Broken Crescent really push the envelope, you know? Okay, so let's get our troops set up. Move the cataphracts to the right. Okay, the Serbs are moving up against us. Yeah, the Serbian knights are pretty good, but they're not quite as good as uh, our general's bodyguard cataphracts. Yeah, I run behind the pikemen. Okay, I'll move my left flank pikemen up a bit. Where's the enemy general? He's right there. So you know what? I'm going to move up all the infantry slightly. Move the archers back. Okay, so the enemy cavalry ran right into my infantry in the center. And the general is fighting this infantry, but this Serbian dismounted Blastella is actually fairly good, but we're beating them. I'd like to rout these guys before those levies catch us. Okay, those levies caught up to our general. I'm going to move the general back just a bit.
Okay, I'll have the general move up the middle here and charge at the enemy general from behind. My general will not die here, I swear. It's not possible. Okay, our armor-piercing maces are really tearing into their knights. Okay, so our infantrymen are fighting fairly well, but I really wish I had another cavalry unit. Okay, the Serbian knights are being defeated. Come on, let's get their general. My general is always the first one to die, so come on. Let's get their general. Is that the enemy general? Come on. He's the last one left, come on. Okay. We got him. Okay, and their heavy infantry is routing. Very good. So their Croatian axemen are fighting our medium infantry here. And they're losing. That's good. Okay, infantry, go hit... Go hit that infantry from behind. And our cavalry will charge their archers here. The Strelci archers. Okay. Okay, and the Croat Axemen are routing. Our enemy has lost Very good. To fight. We must push our advantage. We've beaten 72% of their guys. So let's run them down, see how high we can get that percentage. Eighty six per cent. Ninety three, ninety four. Okay, I think their forces are going to melt away here. Very good. So yeah, the enemy general, uh, he fought, he fought pretty well. Yeah, he could have done better, but the problem was he sent his Croatian axemen 
to fight our reinforcement troops when they weren't Im that important at all. Okay, so now our faction heir doesn't have enough force to go take down Ragusa. Especially with the garrison script. But... Um, we took down Serbia's best general. Which is excellent. Now, uh, all we have to do is wait for the Emperor to defeat uh, the Latins at Mistra. And then we'll be able to take Ragusa with our combined forces. So I'll move the faction air back to Ras. Just to consolidate our troops. And then we'll move in with a two-pronged attack in a couple of turns. It said that the Mongols were by uh, Ani. So they're actually not that far, but perhaps they can destroy the power of the Seljuks. And allow me to take back uh, Asia Minor more easily. Okay, so what do the Latins have? Mostly levies, some knights, some axemen. Okay, I think we can win this one. Okay. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Let's drop the siege equipment. Get our pikes in a line. Now I'll put the uh, Emperor on the right with some cataphracts and the other Prince here on the left with the medium cavalry. So the enemy does have a good number of knights, but on the bright side, the enemy reinforcements are coming from the other side of the map there, and I don't think their troops are going to wait around for their reinforcements to arrive, and their reinforcements have knights as well. Okay, I'd like their infantry to come at me. Okay, I'm gonna have the cataphracts move in to charge. The enemy knights. Very good charge. So now our medium cavalry will come support. I should have maneuvered a bit differently. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, so let's charge from the right.
our prince is in a bit of a tough situation. The Latin Knights are a pretty good. Enemy General Fallen, very good. Okay, now Cataphracts, charge them back. If we can hit their knights from behind in the next couple of seconds... I think we can easily win this one. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, let's get our prince out of there if we can. He didn't die. I think that's him. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Very nice. My first general that has actually gotten lucky. Okay, and the enemy knights are getting ripped apart here. Okay, the enemy has some more knights coming. So I'll send the emperor against those knights. Is that an enemy general? How is he getting away? Go get him. Okay. You guys are blocking the door. You should get him. Okay. Okay, and we got the Latin Emperor. Very good. Now let's hit these guys from the other side with our cataphracts. Just to make sure nothing bad happens to the Emperor. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Okay, so those guys are crushed. Get in there. Okay, we got the gate. That's good. Okay, let's charge their levies. They should go down. Fairly quickly. They have lost their general. Yep, they are routing. Very good. In our favor, if we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Cataphracts, go chase down those running levies. Any 
other enemy reinforcements? The Frankish Axeman. Only half the enemy force remains. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. Okay, so the Emperor has run down all those routers. If the Emperor charges against these Axemen... Okay, we got the faction Air, which is good. If our Emperor comes and charges these Axemen, I think this battle is over. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Oh, I should have just ended the battle. But that's okay. So is the Latin Empire fully defeated now? There we go. We got a hundred percent of them. So yeah, they, they did have a bunch of knights and generals' bodyguards, but uh, they they just had some leftover levy infantry, right? So they had no chance. A light sacking, and the Latin Empire has been destroyed. Mission success. Oh, I forgot to change my capital. I'll do that right now. There we go. Constantinople is now our capital again. Very good. So I got some nice... Um, medium cavalry, sort of, uh, javelin cavalry. So that's very good. Actually, that will come in handy quite soon. So I wonder how the uh, Mongols are doing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So we have destroyed the Latin Empire, and our economy is doing okay. Our deficit is now at least somewhat manageable. So let's get the Emperor and some of his remaining troops. Bring them up to uh, Dyrrhachium. Combine them with the Factionaries' troops. Bring some of these troops down to the faction air as well. And we'll attack Ragusa with the combined forces. Okay. It might be prudent soon to uh, go move against the Venetians, even though they are my allies now. Uh, they do control Euboea as well. Oh, the Mongols are attacking Kaffa. Hmm. I don't really... I don't really have any way of sending reinforcements to Kaffa. The Tsakones are not... Or they're pretty much the same as Levies. You know what? I'll send a reinforcement expedition under Fotenos of Portarea with some cavalry and archers. So let's go on our fleet and let's try to save Kaffa. 
Okay, now the Emperor is joining the faction heir. And now this army is somewhat okay. So you know what? Let's move against Ragusa. I think we'll be able to actually be successful in crushing Ragusa in this episode. And then we can think about how to liberate the Dodecanese and uh, Crete from the Venetians. And then I'll launch an expedition against Corfu. And then the Byzantine Empire will be pretty much restored, at least the core territories. And then perhaps that's where I will uh, end our uh, little high-era Chivalry 2 Let's Play. Because I'd say I will have accomplished the main goals of the campaign. So there are several different kinds of campaigns in Chivalry 2. There are these sort of rebuilding or quick expansion type campaigns where you have to uh, you have to expand quickly or think of something because uh, your economy is in shambles. And there are also the building up kind of campaigns, right? So Byzantine early period campaign is very much about you have your core territories, all these core territories, and you just have to uh, build and improve your economy. So, um, yeah, this is not that kind of campaign here. Okay, so we've got a big Serbian army here. Should I attack them? I think I will. If we crush this main, this remaining Serbian army, I think we'll be able to take Ragusa even this turn or quite soon. If we destroy the reinforcements, really decisively, that is. Okay, one, the Emperor and Cataphracts on the right. And the Faction Heir and Medium Cav on the left. Form up. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay, let's see. What kind of troops do the Serbians have on the flank? Croatian Axemen. And they have reinforcements coming. So you know what? Let them come. Weaken them a little bit with the missile troops. I'll have the cataphract. Okay, let's move a little bit further out. Okay, faction air move against the Slav cavalry. Okay, cataphract. Faction leader, emperor, hit uh, the archers here, and cataphracts will go after the Croatian axemen. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our and move the infantry closer. Forging a worthy victory. Oh no. I didn't see them. Okay, okay. Medium cavalry hit the levees. Other medium cavalry hit the uh, archers. Faction air move back and will hit the axemen.
Okay, our faction leader is doing pretty well. Where, where are the other cataphracts? Move back, move back. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like how this is going. Okay, hit the enemy prince. Where's the emperor? Okay, hit these guys coming down the hill. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Oh, those guys are routing. That's good. The enemy king is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead. Oh, we got the enemy king. Very nice. Yeah, we surrounded him and he got hit pretty hard. Bloody. They have lost half their men. Okay, so this flank of theirs has collapsed. Where's our faction heir? Go take down those axemen. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit. Okay, our cataphracts are doing well now. So, Emperor, move and hit these axemen there. Where are the other cataphracts here? There should be another enemy... Axe unit. Oh, they retreated. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Let's try to get as many of these guys as possible. Do I have any free cavalry? I do. Go and get those levies. And you guys get the archers. Okay, finish off these axemen and then move against those levies. So I think... We got the enemy general, who was the commander of the reinforcements. Now, perhaps... Perhaps that means that the garrison of Ragusa is done. So it says one of the enemy general units is over here. Ah, there it is. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but Ah, so this is a horse archer unit. Praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost the stomach. Or it was. We must push our advantage. Okay, so we got 99% of the enemy. Clear victory that goes to only men of grip. I think this means we got the Ragusa garrison, which is super important here. Okay, so they still have one unit of Croat axemen. Okay, let's maintain the siege. And yeah, Ragusa is going to be ours. Serbia is going to be done. Okay, and then once Serbia is done, the plan is to move against um, Euboea, Crete, the Venetian forts in the Dodecanese, and then uh, Corfu.
Let's see, if the Venetians take Corfu, then... I think that'll be good, because they're weaker than this garrison. Okay. Okay, so the Mongols retreated from Kaffa. That's good. All right, more princesses coming of age. And the Serbian garrison is uh, not too great, just some levies, the standard garrison. Which is very nice indeed. Now the Venetians don't have too many troops in uh, Crete and Euboea, and they lost at Corfu again. Okay. So now with, uh, with Mistra and everything, we're gonna lose our deficit in just a few turns. So let's uh, just end a couple turns here. And uh, you'll see how it took me just three episodes to get out of my deficit. Now there are a lot of campaigns, like I said, that start out this way with a severe deficit. So one of those is um, Bulgaria in the early era, Paristrion, right? There's also um, Serbia in the early and high arrows is a tough campaign. Okay, so they took Jerusalem. We're at war with the Holy Roman Empire? I'd like to see what's going on here. So I know the uh, Crusaders, the Crusader states, uh, declared war on Armenia. Uh, perhaps the Holy Roman Empire did as well. No, I don't know when they declared war on me. That's odd. Okay, in any case, just a couple more turns. And our deficit will be wiped out. And our deficit will be wiped out just in time for uh, the Mongols. Your orders, noble one. Okay, so I will... Uh, Garrison Kaffa here. Now, just a couple of turns for Ragusa. Seems like Venice is blockading. Ragusa's port for me, and I think the Hungarians... Oh, wait a minute here. Serbia has conquered Zara. Okay. So Serbia is not done yet. Yes. Our fleet should come back to... Uh, a masters here. Or actually, stay there in Alpha's port. Okay. 
Now our deficit's at 29,000. That's good. Let's send our bishop down here, see how this war is going. So, wow, the Crusaders uh, were able to hold on to all their territories. I think definitely starting out as a sort of amalgam Byzantine faction with Trabizond, Nikaya, and Epirus at the same time definitely helps out a ton. Because the smaller factions in uh, Sicilian Vespers in Chivalry 2, like uh, Serbia or Bulgaria, for example, um, it's definitely tougher because you have a more restrictive AOR and because... Uh, you have smaller developed core territories, and in the end, that really hinders your expansion. Whereas the Byzantine Empire, it's a lot easier to expand, even if you start out in a tough position like this. So these are all like Orthodox, Byzantine, former core territories, right? So that's part of uh, what's really helping us expand very, fairly easily. Okay. And just a couple turns before our deficit has finally been overcome. I wonder if Hungary or Venice will launch a, an attack on that final Serbian province there in Zara. Ah, there's the there's that other Serbian army. King of Scotland is dead. King of England is dead. Russian Nyaz is dead. Okay. I will see you brought to justice in an honest battle. Okay, so they've got some a lot of medium spearmen, axemen. But it's not too strong an army. Just a couple more end turns before I'll actually be able to build up the empire. It's a good thing Hungary has been busy with Serbia, because if they attacked my border there in the north, I would have been in serious trouble. And luckily, the Seljuks were um, uh, engaged in battles against uh, Armenia. Otherwise, I would have had I would have lost more territories in the east, and that would have prevented um, my financial recovery. It will be an honor to defeat you, dear Paul. Eleonora, the affectionate. Okay, now let's end the, end the turn just one more time. Okay. Just a light sacking. A thieves guild. We just we just saved Constantinople, so I don't want I don't want to invite thieves in there. Yes, my lord. Ah, my fleet is just getting pounded by storms. Let's go to our new docks. Okay. I have money. Very nice. So now I can actually, you know, build. Okay, so if I build up this city watch, I can uh, retrain my Varangian guards. 
I'm going to build up some uh, dirt roads because I really have to repair Asia Minor. Asia Minor is in a horrible situation right now. Once I get these roads built up in Asia Minor, I'll be able to move my troops more quickly. Greece... Greece is not in a great situation either. So I'll build up uh, my infrastructure in the center of the empire and in uh, my Asia, my remaining Asia Minor territories. And then I'll um, retrain a bunch of my troops. And then um, once I retrain my armies and I'll build up some new armies and we'll move against our former Byzantine territories in um, the islands and in Asia Minor. And then I think that'll be it for this campaign. Let's end the turn one more time. So as you can see in uh, Chivalry 2, if, if your empire's infrastructure is not sufficiently built up, you've got to control a lot of territories before you can actually support having a decent military. So, like, my military is stretched extremely thin right now. Okay, so the Vlachs and Bulgarians finally got destroyed here. Oh, so I have a spy here. That's good. So there is Zara. Yeah, the Serbs have quite a few troops there. Okay, so we have some uh, Bosnian archers recruitable in this region. As well as uh, Jupans. So as you can see, the AOR is uh, pretty kind to the Byzantines. There are a lot of... you can recruit a lot of local troops. It's really good. But if, um, you know, if you're, I don't know, the Ayubids and you take Venice, you're not going to be able to recruit a lot of interesting troops and it'll be more difficult to hold a territory like that. But, you know, even for the Byzantines, the AOR does make it difficult after a time. So now let's uh, build up those dirt roads in Amastris. Then we'll build up our ports. Okay, so let's retrain a whole bunch of our troops, since we can now. Okay, I think I need to send our um, archers that need retraining. These guys, they can't really retrain in this territory. So I'm going to send all these uh, damaged units. I'm going to send them to uh, Adrianople. For retraining. Do I have a barracks? Wait a minute. Peasant freeholds. Yeah, I need peasant freeholds. For some of these troops. Let's go for the stables now in Adrianople. Yeah, I, I actually have to build up our recruitment infrastructure quite a bit. Because a lot of it 
just doesn't exist right now. Such is the High Era Byzantine Campaign. Okay, so you know, I think this is uh, pretty good for this episode of our uh, campaign here. Let me just finish constructing uh, some more roads in a lot of our territories. Let's make some town guard in Athens. Some land clearance. We've really got to uh, build up this infrastructure or else we'll be in serious trouble uh, once we get attacked. So yeah, this campaign on a higher difficulty uh, much tougher than uh, on this difficulty, even though on this difficulty even uh, it was not a walk in the park to get all this done. Uh, definitely not. So I hope you're all enjoying this uh, playthrough series. Uh, it was a couple of stressful episodes there at the beginning, but uh, now things seem to be uh, somewhat stable. And uh, perhaps we'll take a couple more Asia Minor territories, perhaps the islands, and then that'll be it for this playthrough. But I do want to make some more videos on Chivalry 2, uh, because the response to the first couple videos I've made about it in a while, it has been so good. Uh, and I'm really glad about all the attention this mod has been getting uh, from that video I made just uh, about a week ago. So yeah, thank you all for enjoying and watching the videos. If you like content about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I cover all the historical Total Wars, and I'll see you in the next one.